My name is Steve Gigi. I'm a professor at, of cell biology at Harvard Medical School, and my work involves a physics technique which is called mass spectrometry, and we apply that technique to, to proteins to measure their expression levels and differences in their expression levels across cell lines or tissues. We really have two goals in the lab, the, the things that we work on. So the first is we want to measure protein expression levels. So we know what DNA is, we know there's 20,000 genes in the, in the human genome, um, but in, in my lab, we're interested in the biological effector molecules, which are proteins. And, and so but we don't want to just measure one protein or to understand one protein. We want to systematically study all the proteins that are expressed in a cell. And so that's our first goal, is to develop technologies built around mass spectrometry that can allow us to study the expression levels. And maybe the second goal in the lab is to find ways to compare multiple samples or multiple experiments together. For example, if you had 50 tumor tissues, uh, from patients and you wanted to compare the expression of the proteins in those, we, we would like to develop technologies that would allow us to look across large sample numbers and to compare all of the proteins that are expressed. Currently we, we do what's called sample multiplexing and that means that we're going to combine a certain number of samples together, they're all going to be analyzed together. So we're going to measure the protein expression across, in this case, 10 samples all at the same time. In this way it's pretty important how much you start with because you could imagine that if there's important biological differences that are say 10 or 20 percent different between samples, you would like to know that. And so for us it's important to know how much protein we have that's going to be used in each one of these 10 samples. So if someone gives me 10 livers or someone gives me 10 tumor samples, we are going to need to know how much protein was present in there first of all. And so we use, we need to use a quantitative assay that can allow us to know the precise amount of protein that's, that's present there so that we can mix it together correctly. So we use this new colorimetric uh, peptide assay uh, that we get from Thermo Fisher and it's really been in just a really, really big change for us in many ways because when we mix these samples together in the past, we often had done a protein assay but they, they weren't mixed perfectly together and so you know, we had to do one more step. We had to actually take a tiny bit of each sample, mix it together and then analyze it on the, on the mass spectrometer and from that we could kind of do our own peptide assay to know how well they were mixed and then we would go back to the samples mix them all together and do it right. Now with this colorimetric assay, the numbers are so spot on that we, we really can just do the assay on the peptides and then allow us to mix those together perfectly so that we have a one to one to one to one to one ratio across all of these 10 samples. And in that way, all the normalization takes place because of this, this peptide assay is where we start with that.